friends, Seer Games here, and today we are going to be playing some Pokemon Shield, but not just not just any regular normal Pokemon Shield gameplay. We are going to be doing oh, pardon the red marks on my neck. I scratched my neck a little bit. <laughs> Nothing to be alarmed about, just sensitive skin. Anyways, uh, we are going to be doing the Nuzlocke challenge. I'm super excited because I've never never done the Nuzlocke challenge before. Um, I haven't even started the game up yet. I, some of you, some of you may know, I have played Pokemon, um, Sword extensively. I have like 90 hours into Pokemon Sword. Um, and I have Pokemon Shield. My friend has it. So my friend's letting me borrow it because he's not playing the game currently. And I thought maybe a fun thing to do would be playing, uh, Pokemon Shield, but with a twist. So I'm like, Nuzlocke is a classic way to do that. So we are going to do that. And let me just tell you guys how this is going to go before before I start and we get caught up in uh, the Pokemon universe. But uh, I have the rules right here. It should be coming up. Here we go. So the rules are you can only capture the first Pokemon encountered in each new area. If a Pokemon faints, you will consider it dead and release it. And all Pokemon caught must have nicknames. <laughs> I like the nicknames part, so I already, I already do that anyways. But the most important thing is the first two rules. So, we can only capture the first Pokemon we encounter in each new area. In this game, we have, sorry, pardon for, like, the lack of music, but, um, for each area, you can kind of see the Pokemon in the overworld, so I got this really cute <laughs> Snorlax sleep mask that I'm gonna put on every time we enter a new area, and I'm just gonna wander around until I hit a Pokemon, and that's the one we're gonna be catching. So that's how I'm gonna do that, and I'll tell you guys, I'll remind you guys all, of all that later as well. But uh, let's get right on into it. Uh, I always pick the one on the top right. <laughs> and I think we're just going to say our name is Sierra Games. Might have to turn down the sound a little bit. So pardon me if the sound ends up uh, <laughs> blasting anyone's eardrums out. I do, I do not want that. But it's all, it's all trial and error. Okay, Sierra Games. Perfect. It fits right under the 12 character limit. All right, is this correct? Uh, yes, it is. Looks just like me. <laughs> All right, let me be on standby for the sound here and we can actually get started. I do really like this intro. <laughs> Okay, I'll just turn it down. Just a smidgen. It's pretty good right now. Welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. Thank you. Our beloved Gala region is a wonderful place with thriving nature. Beautiful cities and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. I love that Pokemon, by the way. I really hope we can use it this playthrough if I end up running into it. Thanks to the help from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon are all around us in the sea, in the sky, and even with us in our towns. They even do our manual labor for us. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete, we call Pokemon Trainers. Woo! That's me, or that's gonna be me. Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose and it is a pleasure to be here. Now turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for Champion Leon's exhibition match. Now is all this happening the year before I become the champion? That's kind of what I assumed initially. I'm also hoping through this playthrough to get a little bit un more of an understanding of the story, though I do hear that the story is confusing just by itself. <laughs> Exhibition or not, Leon, your pristine record is about to end when I beat you here today. Alright, he's got his Charizard. It's too hot. Dang it. <laughs> Boy, it's too quick. Too quick on drinking the coffee. Guess I'll have to wait a little. Okay. Meanwhile, 
Oh yeah, I'm watching TV, right? I'm watching this all happen on TV. Like a recording, maybe? I'm Leon's biggest fan. <laughs> there I am on my Switch with my red, my red Joy-Cons. <laughs> Hello, hello. Why do you, why, who rings the doorbell and just walks in anyways? Just hop. Is that your new flash phone? Oh, never mind. I'm on my phone, not my Switch. Were you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know, the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be his famous Charizard pose. <laughs> hop, didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to get Sierra Games. Never mind watching the match now. I've got a recording at home anyway. I record all of my brother's matches. Come with me. You should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. I gotta run. See you at mine later. Alright. I gotta check the Joy-Cons. <laughs> It's a very small thing, but I, I like it. Yay! And then I did play um, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, so I think that's what determines what's next to the Switch on this stand here. Okay. Let's say hi to our mom, rushing off in that state. Didn't Hop say you should bring your bag? I last saw it in your room, and don't forget to grab a hat for the weather. Oh, right. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, there it is. I was just gonna jump right into bed. You grabbed your mom's old bag. <laughs> All reliable. You know, growing up, I always uh, got my mom's hand-me-down purses. Because, you know, I, I would never buy a purse myself. I still, I only, if I do use a purse, it's my mom's purse <laughs> that she gives to me. Because she's always getting new purses. Not me, though. <laughs> If it doesn't fit in my pocket, then it's not worth bringing along with me, is my saying, usually. <laughs> Unless I'm going to the movies. Then I need that purse space. Then I'm all for the purse. Alright, let's get out of there. Hop is waiting for you. Better head outside. Oh, I'm excited. I wonder if our first Pokemon's gonna be a Wooloo. Or probably that squirrel Pokemon. Those guys are everywhere. <laughs> And I can't avoid them like I did when I played Pokemon Sword. So I have the sinking feeling I'm going to end up raising <laughs> that squo Squovet against my will. Maybe I'll learn to love it. <laughs> it's just, it's evolution. It's final evolution. Ugh, I do not like it. Have a look at you, Sierra. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. At least we know that it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. I love this Wooloo. <laughs> a Wooloo, what's it doing here? Hitting its head against the, the fence, as you do. You silly Wooloo, I see what you're up to. Don't go using tackle on the fencing. Now, you listen. No going past that fence. No. Bad Wooloo. Everyone knows that there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering wells. Nope. Now that that's taken care of, is it... Is it really? How about Sierra? Let's race. But I can make it to my house first. What with you lugging that big old bag. Also, he's gonna have a head start, so. <laughs> it's not fair, Hop. You're not fair. I do really like the the nice quaint town that you that you start off in. Very cute. And I love Wulu with all my heart. <laughs> Power science is amazing. Now you can battle and trade Pokemon with other people just by walking around. Isn't that amazing? So amazing. Super amazing. Okay. Let's go in the house. Mom, is he here? There you are at last, Hop. Oh, and you brought along Sierra Games. Hello, dear. Yeah, but where's Lee? Learn some patience. He's probably only just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. 
That's where I'm going. He's hopeless with directions. Even though in the entire game, he, he's not hopeless with directions. He's actually pretty alright in my books. That's probably for the best. You've got to come with me. You've still never met my big bro, right? You can't miss out the chance to meet the undefeated champion. I'll wait for you out on the route. Route. Is it root or route? I'm going to try to say route. Because root is a part of a plant, right? Shouldn't pronounce them similarly. Alright, Hob, I'm here. Let's get a move on. Only remember, wild Pokemon could come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. I got my Wooloo with me, so of course I'm ready to battle wild Pokemon. But not you, so we'll steer clear of the tall grass as we go. Oh, <laughs> All right, we'll walk past Route 1 for right now. No Pokemon will spawn anyways until you have your first Pokemon. All right, all right. You caught me. Just trying to go through. Let's go meet Lee at the station. It's dead ahead. How could he get lost? <laughs> this very linear pathway. You just gotta go straight. And you'll eventually make it to your house, your own house, Lee. The man, the myth, the legend, Leon. Your champion is back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. It's our unbeatable champion, Leon. You and Charizard are the greatest. Well, thank you for that. I hope you all carry on training up your Pokemon and never shy from battle. Then come challenge me for the champion title. We're on it. We've been working on our battle skills just like you taught us to, Lee. <laughs> that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Too true, that Charizard is blazingly strong. That other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want str the strongest of challengers to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wish is for Galar's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all of the world. Lee! <laughs> you can barely see him back there. Hop! My number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I've seen you. That's the sort of sharp eye that's kept you undefeated for so long, huh, Lee? Yeah, he's really good at <laughs> just being able to look at someone and knowing their height automatically. You'd be surprised how much that helps in a Pokemon battle. And these bright eyes over here. I've got it. You must be Sierra Games, am I right? I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm the Galar region's greatest ever Pokemon champion. And a massive Charizard fan, too. I would have never guessed. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Come on, Lee, and you, and you Sierra Games. Bet I can beat you both... I can beat the both of you back home. That hop always wanted to be the best, isn't he? For the proper rival, proper rival of his own. I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. And that would be me. Okay, people are saying that Leon's pose looks like a Charizard, but I need someone to like really show me how that's true because I don't see it yet. <laughs> It does not look like that to me. It's just... I mean, maybe like the face? What does he do? I'll have to try to copy next time he does it. <laughs> Come on, Lee. You promised us a present, so out with it. You brought Sierra Games and me Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then. The greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Okay. I haven't decided if I'm going to pick Grookey or Score Bunny yet. I was kind of just going to watch the animation and see what I thought. Because I've already picked Sobble and Pokemon Sword. Grookey. Score Bunny. Sobble.
All right, line up, everyone. Hmm. Kruki, Score Bunny, or Sobble. I think... I think I'm going to do Grookey this time around. I heard he has some, like, really good moves. I've already got my Wooloo. All right. I think Grookey. I used to be, like, a big fan of, uh... Hedgehogs. I mean, sorry. I am I am a big fan of hedgehogs right now. Monkeys, I meant to say. Before I was a fan of hedgehogs. So it seems fitting. The grass-type Pokemon Grookey, huh? It's soothing, like a nice long walk in the woods. Hmm. Um, a grass-type Pokemon Grookey. Yep, sure. Yay, you chose Grookey! Would you like to give Grookey a nickname? Uh, yes, of course. What do we got? We got a boy Grookey. Um, I want to name him... The first thing that comes to my head is, is Donkey Kong. But uh, I don't really want to name him that because I'm sure everybody in the world has named their Grookey Donkey Kong. So I'm going to hold off on doing that. And I'm going to name him... His name's Grookey. Or it's a Grookey, right? Um, I'm going to name him... Paul Frank. After the clothing brand of monkeys that I wore in middle school. <laughs> All of the monkeys' names were Paul Frank. There we go. Nice. I like it. Paul Frank. Woo! <laughs> my first my first Pokemon. I hope nothing bad ever happens to you. It'll be Grookey for you. Nice one. I'll go with Sobble. You're mine. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I will be doing some serious training. Also, I'll have to go against my my favorite boy, Sobble. Oh, Sobble's so cute. Oh, that's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and Sierra, so the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together to try to reach me. <laughs> Scorpion's like, no one picked me. And you'll come with me. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict, but real strong and real kind, too. Aw, it seems fitting that Leon would get the fire Pokemon in the end. Alright, enough of this trainer nonsense for one night. Nonsense. Leon's making a living off this nonsense. When I first played this game, I thought for sure that whenever anybody ate anything, it would be like curry. Obviously, they eat other things, too, but they emphasize curry so much that I thought in the first 10 minutes of the game, we would be eating curry in some fashion, and somebody would be, like, talking it up, you know? <laughs> that's that's what I thought, anyways. The next day. You spent the whole night with that new partner Pokemon of yours, right, Hop? You two getting on all right, understanding one another? Maybe even built up a bit of love? Of course I have, Lee. See, our games made fr fast friends with her Grookey, too. Yes. Yes, I did. Paul, Paul Frank and I. <laughs> what are you looking at her for, Lee? I'm the one who's going to be challenging you. Even Leon knew right from the beginning that I would be the champion. <laughs> I actually, I don't mind, uh, I don't mind Hop. He, he was annoying at the beginning because he would never be quiet about his brother. But I do like his whole kind of, uh, spoilers, his whole, like, self-discovery kind of arc. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle, too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper trainer already, huh? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend if she's up for it. What do you say? Willing and ready to take Hop on in the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Yeah, we are ready. Do those two things, I'm sure you'll learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. Nope, oh, I missed it. <laughs> clicking too fast. I don't know what the two things are, but I'm sure I'll be fine. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home, too. So I'm gonna comment every time you have a super effective attack. <laughs> That's pretty much what he's saying. Alright, Hop. Bring it. You're challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. Oh yeah, he has two Pokemon. That's not fair. <laughs> Paul Frank, go! Pokemon battle it is then. I've got two partners with me. Of 
Scratch. Never use growl. Just keep scratching. Oh, gosh. It's okay. You're gonna be okay, Paul Frank. out of there. Speaking of Wulu, I really, really like um, the shiny form of Wulu. It's basically that, except it's a black sheep. Oh, so cool. I love it. Also, branch poke is the move I've been wanting. <laughs> All right. Send out your Sobble if you want. Sorry, Sobble. I gotta do this. The user attacks the target by poking it with a sharply pointed branch. Alright. <laughs> Feel a little bad. <laughs> Did you already know about type advantages? <gasps> oh my gosh, have you been reading about Pokemon too? I sure have. I sure have, Pop. Level seven, all right. You could be a Pokemon trainer, hop. You beat my two Pokemon with your one? You and Grookey are too much. That was a shock. Guess I know, na know now why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. It made me almost want to let out Charizard and join in on all the fun. Good effort out there, Grookey. Why don't I get you all sorted? Okay, good. <laughs> Sierra, you got real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a real rival to Hop, would you? Push him and make the both of you stronger. You want to join the gym challenge? <laughs> Not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. <laughs> Especially me. I need to learn a lot. <laughs> Putting their strengths. You gotta record. It's a record of trainers. Love and passion for Pokemon training. Okay. You gotta get Pokedexes. Got it. Do we start off with Pokeballs? I, I don't remember. We might have to buy them and then go for the first uh, route. I was about to say route. I stopped myself just in time. Route. Route, route, route. Did you hear that? Oh, right. We gotta go see go into the wells over here. Weald? Weald? I think it's Weald. It's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once and she came back in a real state. And that was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterward. What do you say? Uh, we gotta save it. <laughs> Part of me wants to just be like, eh, I don't know. I don't know, maybe. Hope you're ready for anything, because we're going in. I'm ready. Wait, am I? <laughs> Can I go get another Pokemon first? No, I can't. Alright, I got three potions, though. We're fine. It would be super embarrassing if I just <laughs> had my Pokemon faint in this first area here. We don't even have to make it too far. I don't have any Pokeballs, so I'm not going to count this area as uh, the first area yet. The fog's really coming on thick now. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, that this might be trouble. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't count. I can't catch it. <laughs> That's the Pokemon I don't want to raise. I don't know. He's, he's alright, okay? It's just his design isn't that exciting to me. That's all. Keep using Branch Poke. What I'm really afraid of for this whole challenge is the wild area. More specifically, the strong Pokemon that are in the wild area. If I'm going to have a blindfold on running around the wild area trying to find a Pokemon to catch for each area, I feel like I might accidentally run into a big, big bad Pokemon and then I won't be able to run away. And it'll just kill my Pokemon. So we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. 
All right, we crossed that bridge. So I think I'm going to give my first Pokemon a held item that will guarantee that they can run away if they need to. I think that's going to be my saving grace for the wild area. <laughs> Rookity! I love Rookity. Poke him with a branch, Paul Frank. Okay. See if my coffee's cold enough yet. Yeah. We're getting closer. Did you hear that? Was that Pokemon crying out, you think? I think so. That would make sense. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Dang it, Squovet. Stop, stop making me excited that you're actually a different Pokemon when you're not. <laughs> okay. Pokemon with a branch. So be like, get away. Get away from me. Now, I know a couple of people have echoed this same sentiment, but I really wish that this game had an option of turning on or off the group experience um, that's in this game, because it makes leveling up Pokemon so easy. So I don't know how that's going to affect the Nuzlocke, probably make it easier, honestly. Um, but this is my first Nuzlocke, so I don't mind too, too much, but it would have been really nice if this game had some sort of option for individual or group experience. Hey, Duminator! How are you doing? Yeah, I'm having a good, uh, what is it now? It's, I think it just turned into the afternoon. <laughs> I don't even know what time it is. Yeah, it's 1. one eleven over here. So yeah, good good morning. Good day so far. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. We don't need to heal Paul Frank right now. We're just gonna keep on going. I think there's a cutscene right here. Come on, that Wooloo might be in trouble. Do we ever find the Wooloo? I forget. This is my second time playing this game, except I'm playing Pokemon Shield and not Pokemon Sword. So, I remember a lot of this. Just the specifics uh, escape me because of my my memory. It's just completely out of my mind. Like the, how, you know, the events end up being uh, organized. I'm sure if you play the same game enough, you can just know every single beat of a story, but I think I need to play it, like, at least three times to actually get that locked in my head. <laughs> so yeah, I think the, the Pokemon's gonna jump out at us. We're gonna try to fight it, but it's gonna be not effective at all. It's gonna go through all of our attacks. <laughs> Zamazenta. Question mark, question mark, question mark here. All right, Paul Frank, do your do your best. Growl at it first. What the move had no effect on it? Hey, Uso, how are you doing? Oh, Uso. Wait, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. It's right next to me. Thank you so much for for your gift. I just got it yesterday. I love it so much. I love, I love the KK Slider and Cyrus and Reese. This is this is going in my my corner where I have some of the Animal Crossing stuff. But thank you so much. I love it a lot. <laughs> Let me put that right behind me. Right, right there. You won't be able to see it when I move my chair, but that's where I. I've had it displayed. <laughs> so thank you again, Uso. I hope you're doing well today. Which way does my Joy-Cons go? 
There we go. <laughs> yes, amiibo. Mm -hmm. I wonder if the amiibo functionality is going to work for, for Animal Crossing when it comes out. Have they ever done anything with that? I mean, besides their weird board game spinoff that Animal Crossing had, I don't think they have. But that would be cool. And I think, I think, uh, what's it called? Super Smash does stuff with amiibos too. So I might, I might want to, I try to keep everything in the box because it looks so nice, you know? But I'll look up and see what those amiibos do for, for, um, Super Smash Brothers. I might take them out of the box. <laughs> but anyways, thank you again. Okay, let's keep fighting this, this mystery Pokemon. We have no idea what it is. Even my, even the branches aren't effective. <laughs> but yeah, I'm out of school right now, so I'm uh, on winter break. So I should be streaming a little bit more often uh, than usual, which will be exciting. Ooh, we can't see a darn, a darn thing. Yeah, that's true. I played a little bit of Breath of the Wild. I think I I played half half of it, halfway. It was a good game. I I don't know why I stopped. <laughs> but it's like one of those things where if I do go back to play it, I'm going to I'm going to start over from the beginning. Maybe maybe I'll do that. There's so many games that I want to play though, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I do remember the whole amiibo thing with Breath of the Wild and it gives you different items, right? There was an Animal Crossing on Wii U, but it was like a board game spin-off. It wasn't an actual Animal Crossing um, main main franchise kind of thing. Uh, it was like this weird board game thing that used the amiibos, but it got really bad reviews and I don't own a Wii U, so I didn't have any intention of getting it. I got a Wii, but I never got the Wii U. Um, but I think that was the only thing from Animal Crossing on the Wii U. Pop Sierra Games! How did you know we came this way? <laughs> Lee, how'd you manage to find your way here? Your pants with directions. <laughs> your pants with directions. Let's, I gotta use that line next time somebody I know gets lost. <laughs> Which is me. I'm the person that gets lost. So I don't know if I'm ever gonna use that saying. Where's the Wooloo? We're trying to rescue that Wooloo. Don't worry, Charizard's got it. <laughs> Little chap's just fine, though all of you had fainted by the time I found you here. You know this place is out of bounds, but it took courage to come in here all the same, and I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, huh? What about me? <laughs> did, I do, did I do good too, Leon? <laughs> hey, Will! You may buy the Wii U just to have one? Oh yeah, so you can have all the consoles. Do you, um, if on that train of thought, do you get, like, all of the PlayStation and Xbox consoles then as well? I always pick between Xbox or PlayStation every time a new generation of consoles comes out. I have a PS4, I had an Xbox 360, and then I picked PS1 and PS2 back in the day. Char Charizard. He's about to have lamb. Oh, gosh. That's what happens when we walk away. <laughs> Mad Pokemon? What are you talking about? It seems loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. It just sort of had this presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really. They seem to pass right through it. Your moves pass through it? Leon's like not believing us. Leon's never heard of po ghost Pokemon before. <laughs> He's like, he doesn't bring up, bring up that at all. It's fine. We got an earful from Lee. We're, we're still standing in front of him, Hop. You can tell me tell me that we got an e earful from Lee afterwards. Oh, there he goes. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to Wedgehurst now. She'll go spare if you leave without a word. Even worse than Lee just did. Nintendo Switch Cube in the classics. Oh, nice. I had a GameCube. I don't know what the heck happened to it, but GameCube was so good. So, so good. I love GameCube, and I love PlayStation, the original PlayStation one. Mom, I'm going on a journey. Tum-tum. 
Wait, is that what my Grookey just said? Oh my gosh. I love him. I love him already. I'm never gonna let anything bad happen to... to, to um, I was gonna say Tum Tum to my Grookey. Off to Wedgehurst, are you? Here you are. A bit of pocket money. Yay, maybe some potions. I'm gonna buy some Pokeballs, but thank you for the recommendation. Tum Tum. And you, Grookey, look after my little Sierra. Come home and rest anytime you need. After all, east or west, home is vast. Ooh, that's good to rhyme, Mom. I love my mom's style. She looks so youthful. Okay, bye, Mom. <laughs> Looking good, Mom. Alright, let's run. Do you have any of the... Do you have, like, a Game Boy Color and all that good stuff, too, Will? Or do you just like the... What would you call it? Home console, right? Instead of a handheld? <clears throat> Alright, I need to go get Pokeballs. Do I have them yet? Or are you gonna give them to me? I forget. Here we go, this is quite the big step, you know. My first step toward becoming the next champion. Guess I'll probably train up Sobble a bit by having it battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get yourself to the building with the purple roof and the great red and white ball mark out in, on front. That's the Pokemon Research Lab. Okay, so we're still gonna skip Route 1, so I'm not gonna capture my first Pokemon just yet, unless I miraculously have Pokeballs. Oh, I do! I do miraculously have Pokeballs. Yes. Okay. Alright. <laughs> it looks like I'm gonna run into a Wooloo, but who knows? We're gonna... I'm gonna put this blindfold on, so... And I'm gonna listen for for wild Pokemon music, so I'll see you guys on the other side. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Okay. Alright, we're fine. This is fine. Forward and right. Oh, I hit a wall. Ah! Yes! Yes, my first Pokemon! What is it? It's a Wooloo. Alright. I guess we didn't have to be... <laughs> we didn't have to be a fortune teller to figure that one out. This Wooloo is mine. I'm very afraid that I'm gonna end up making my first Pokemon I see faint and then we're not gonna be able to get any Pokemon on that route. That is also something I'm concerned about. But I'm gonna raise this Wooloo. Okay, let's scratch it. I like to do weak attacks because I'm very afraid I'm gonna accidentally make it kill kill the Wooloo. I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna kill the Wooloo. So let's just keep scratching it until it gets into the yellow and then I'll throw a Pokeball. You have the DS, but you prefer home consoles? Oh, nice. Yeah, I have the original DS, but mine's like... I don't know how it happened, but the middle part's broken. It still works, but it looks like it's gonna, you know, it's gonna become two pieces pretty soon. I have, like, the original DS. <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe I should have used that stick move. <laughs> yeah. Actually, no. Uh... I think I'm overestimating how strong I am. Mm. <laughs> oh, he's just using growl. That's what's happening. <laughs> alright, alright. We'll just this is gonna be the fight of a lifetime. I need to make a checklist, honestly, of the Pokemon that I do catch on each route, or I am gonna forget. So, let me get a piece of paper out. of paper. Okay. Since I'm official here, we gotta write it down. Okay. Route one. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Come on, into the yellow. So it's easier to catch. Okay, Pokeball. Alright, you guys thinking of any names for me? I'm taking recommendations. Since he's gonna be in my party for a while. Woo! Yes! Wooly was caught. I think it's a girl Wooly. So whatever you guys think. Of a cute name for this adorable Wooloo. Girl Wooloo. 
It could be like, uh... Cotton ball? <laughs> 10 out of 10 names. Cotton ball, we got... What else? Just cotton? Mm-hmm. We could just get the ball part out. <laughs> cotton, cotton ball, um... Uh, puff. <laughs> Puffy. <laughs> As in cotton wool. Oh, I see. Q-tip. <laughs> maybe, maybe cotton would just be a good, good solid choice. Cotton. Alright, we'll go with cotton. Cotton has been added to your party. Yay, we did it! Beautiful. Alright. Now, yeah. Tampon. <laughs> no, I think I think cotton. I think cotton's a good name. I like I liked your first name better. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Our, yeah. Paul Frank can fight more. I want him to train a little bit. Okay. So we got Grookey and we got Wooloo. <clears throat> So, what's taunt again that makes them um, taunt into a rage that only allows it to use only attack moves for three turns? Oh. We're just gonna keep going for the branch poke. So, a little bit later on to the game, there's something else. Uh, that happens, I notice that sometimes the wild Pokemon in the area are stronger than the trainers, or like the same level as the trainers, which I guess makes sense, but I'm so used to it in Pokemon games where the trainers are stronger than the wild Pokemon, you know, like all the time. But in this game, I feel like I see more often than not that the wild Pokemon are like <laughs> over leveled <laughs> or, you know, higher level than the trainers. So I might, I might have to be careful. Yeah, we can keep training. Okay. Not very effective. Then I'm gonna use Scratch. Okay, that's enough training. <laughs> There's Charizard. I don't know where Leon is though. The champion's here. Oh, is he in here? Hey, Leon. Well done. You reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. You did a far be sight better than I did my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. See how your world has already grown, all thanks to having Pokemon with you. Have I never been into town before? <laughs> This is my hometown, Leon. He's like, wow, so ever since you had a Pokemon, you can now get to the town and buy food. You've never left your home before, apparently. <laughs> I know I'm sure glad I've got Charizard with me to keep me from getting lost all the time. Now in we go. We never really get to see the Pokemon uh, professor that much in this game. Like, I barely know anything about Magnolia. I saw her at the beginning, and then that's pretty much I <laughs> pretty much it. <laughs> that's as much communication with the professor that I ever had. It's all about the assistant. Yamper! It'd be really good to catch a Yamper for the water gym. What is it today, Leon? Looking for info on another never-before-seen super strong Pokemon? I wish you'd stop with these outlandish requests. What's her name? Son Sonia? Good to see you too, Yamper. Yamper here's a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. And that's his trainer, Sonia. 
What can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she cooks. She makes food you can gobble down in a flash. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Not that they were rivals. Just, that's all he remembers her for. Is just making food. <laughs> Very nice, Leon. <laughs> I am for what does he think I am he's always got this his head in the clouds no wonder he gets lost all the time that looks like you got a rotom phone hey there rotom Leon still gets lost so sorry tell me do you know a lot about Pokemon you bet well said thank you <laughs> my two-word response <laughs> Woo! We got a Pokedex now. Just so you know, that Pokedex is a gift from my grand. Could you let grand know that you received the Pokedex? She lives in the house down along Route 2. Route 2. Route. Route. Oh my gosh. Camel. Well, it would never let me live that down. <laughs> he still keeps talking about how I can't pronounce coal right. Even though it sounds right when I'm, I'm saying it. Coal. I, guess I just have a hard time with the L's. L, L is a hard letter, man. It's very hard to pronounce. It's a potion! Oh, thank you, random stranger. Knowledge is power. It's a good idea to talk to lots of different people and read everything you can on your journey. Alright, bye, sir. Okay. Oh, he's right here. Hi! Okay, pretending like you don't know me. I see. That's fine. <laughs> you pretend like you don't know me all you want. Got your Pokédex? Then it's time to meet lots of different Pokémon and start building up a strong team. Not me. <laughs> I'm thinking one Pokémon per per route. We got Pokémon Centers. Luckier yet, they're dead easy to spot. They look the same wherever you go. Come on, but you've never been inside one. Never. I have no idea what they look like. Level with me. Is this your first time in a Pokémon Center? Of course not. I don't think you need me to tell you what you already know. Yeah. If you two kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions. Don't worry, I got a stranger that gave me potions. <laughs> I'm heading to Route 2. Okay, cool. That means I am going to buy some potions. <laughs> That's a very good idea. We don't need revives. I need a ton of potions. <laughs> I'm very afraid. Yeah, 10 potions, sure. Give me all you got. And then I guess, I like having a little bit of everything, even though I hardly use these things. So let's just get four of each. I'm gonna do five, but, you know, it's fine. Four is a good amount, I think. Alright, thank you, good sir. I'm so thankful for Pokemon Centers. For free! There's my team, right there. <laughs> the dream team. Paul, Frank, and Cotton. It's true that wild Pokemon can be scary, but once they become your allies, there's nothing more reliable. Alright, let's save? There it is. Let's save really quick here. And I am going to quickly go to the restroom and be right back. So let me get, put you guys on the be right back screen. And I should only be gone in a minute.
Hello, I am back. And of course I washed my hands. <laughs> I'm washing my hands all the time. I know. I know all about washing my hands. <laughs> so I tell all of my students to do all the time so nobody gets sick. All right, I've been thinking. If you're a Pokemon trainer, you must want to try your hand at the gym challenge, right? Uh, the gym challenge? The gym challenge. He's gonna have to explain it anyways. Even though I watch the same stuff on TV that Hop does, I have no idea what the gym challenge even is. <laughs> I just watch Leon's matches and I'm like, what is he doing? What is this? Okay. Alright, Route 2, I'm ready. I'm ready to put my Snorlax blindfold on and probably catch another Wooloo with my luck. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. Alright. I'm in Route 2 now, right? Okay. Alright. I'm ready. I'm going in. Alright. Just gonna... I wanna kind of run around a little bit. Uh-oh. Did I find a trainer? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, Hop, what are you doing? <laughs> what do you want, Hop? It's time we filled our teams a bit. I'm here to teach you how. <laughs> you need to catch Pokemon if you got any hope of filling in that Pokedex. <laughs> I've already caught some. I'll give you more Pokeballs. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna catch one, but whatever. <laughs> Wow, that's a lot of Pokeballs. Thank you. Pokemon on your team will get experience points when you catch Pokemon too. Of course, they get experience points from battle, so take on the other trainers you meet along the path. All right, I'm ready. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna catch loads of Pokemon. Professor's gonna be shocked when she sees. I'm gonna have a total of three. All right. Oh, I hear Rookities, I think. I'm gonna go down and right. Just, I'm hearing things. Oh, okay, okay, did I find something? I knew, Rookity, wow. <laughs> All right. He's a, Corviknight's a solid Pokemon, so I'm happy I found one. Level seven, all right, sweet. Okay, so let's just do Scratch. So let me write down that we got we we might get a rookie on route two. All right, I'm gonna try the pokeball because I don't want to accidentally get a critical hit or anything. Yes. All right. Names. I'm in, I'm taking I'm taking names for this guy. Is he he's a boy, right? Jumping nimbly about, this small body Pokemon takes advantage of even the slightest opportunity to disorient larger opponents. I like it. Alright, yes, of course I'm gonna give you a nickname. Oh, it's a girl, actually. Okay. Uh, so I can't really name it Edgar Allan Poe, can I? <laughs> First, because it's a girl. Second, because it's uh, definitely does not... It's bigger than the 12 character count that we have for the name. Um, a girl rookity. You're terrible with names. Me too. Oh, <laughs> I am too. Let's see. We can do like... Mm, rookity. Rookity. We can do like another chess piece. You know? Because it's all about different chess pieces. Pow? Pow. Or po. Yeah, I was thinking Edgar Allan Poe, something along those lines, but that seems more like a boy name, right? However you spell it. <laughs> um, Poe, Poe, Poet, Poet? 
<laughs> I know that. I just put a T at the end of Po. Uh, but that that seems kind of cute to me. Po poet. Poet. Or something about him being a bird. Po poet. Sure. I don't know why I'm gravitating towards the name poet, but I, I think I think that's kind of cute. It's a unique name. Wow, I got pretty far, didn't I? Wait. Did I really avoid? Oh wait, no. Yeah, I got to like the end of this patch of grass. Oh, I could have easily run into like that turtle. <laughs> People are called pizza these days. <laughs> that's true. All right, this is my first Pokemon battle against someone that isn't Hop. I better prepare myself. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah, I'm fine. Actually. Yeah, I think I'll be fine. I'm just gonna heal Poet just in case I need to bring him out in this fight. I got enough money. I'm sure money isn't gonna be a problem. It's common manners for Pokemon trainers to battle when their eyes meet. This guy's a big Squovet um, lover. <laughs> Tell by his shirt. I don't know. I don't think I should share the same... Uh, the same excitement for this Pokemon. Mm -mm. Alright, poke it with a branch. Okay, we're still okay. We're still good. I think I'm gonna be very afraid of status effects because I usually don't I don't usually care when I play Pokemon games whether or not my Pokemon faints um, and I really feel like status effects can stack up when you least expect it and then when a Pokemon attacks it can just destroy you so I really gotta keep track of all the you know the leers and you know defense or special defense lowering um, moves so I feel like that might end up <laughs> making you know might end up having me lose a Pokemon. That sentence didn't make any sense. You guys, you guys understand what I'm saying, though. <laughs> Alright, two potions. Alright. Good, good, good. I might want to use a potion right now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> For 7 HP. I'm that paranoid. I'm that person. What was that? It was like that acorn Pokemon, right? Alright, more Pokeballs. We're still on Route 2, so we can't really catch anything, but that's fine. Oh wait, no, those are... Oh, those are Squovets. Eh. <laughs> Let's just battle a trainer. Cute and strong, together in combination. I want to train up a little bit because I'm pretty sure we're going to fight our rival one more time before we head out of this town. So I'm going to train up on this route since I know he's going to do the same. Alright, go, Paul Frank. What's the difference between Pokemon Sword and Shield? Um, for all Pokemon games, they have um, Pokemon differences. So there's like, I don't want to get the number wrong, 10 to 20 Pokemon that are exclusive to either version. So if you want to get all of the Pokemon and you don't have any friends, <laughs> then you have to own both the games. <laughs> um, and then the other difference that's unique to this particular um, generation is that both games have two different gyms. So there's eight gyms in total and two of them are different between Pokemon Sword and Shield. So you'll be facing different challenges. Um, those are the two main differences though. Oh and then obviously the legendary. So those are the three differences. Regular Pokemon, the legendary Pokemon, and then the gyms that you fight up against. But besides that there isn't much difference. No. The most of the difference comes from the third games that usually come out, like I think a year after the initial generation of games comes out. So there's Pokemon Sword and Shield, and then let's say next year they come out with Pokemon Lance or something like that. It'll be the same set of Pokemons, except the story will be a little bit different, I think. Yeah, different content. Mm-hmm. That's about it. Yeah, we leveled up. Cool. That battle went so fast. <laughs> I blinked and the battle was over. Alright. So, I don't want to go over there yet. I do want to battle this guy, though. 
I couldn't be hot, but I'm gonna beat you. Try. Try me, Benjamin. <laughs> yeah, it really is just a way to get more money. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna defeat this lip bug and then I'm gonna heal. Do you want to switch your Pokemon? Eh, I think I'm good. I am gonna heal though, because I don't like living on the edge. I like being firmly on the ground. There we go, cool. Oh yeah, we're fine. <laughs> that first attack, whatever first attack a Pokemon does, usually determines how kind of uh, afraid I am for this particular battle, but just nick it doesn't have that much uh, damage potential on us. But yeah, I'm a big I'm a big Pokemon fan. I've played it ever since I was a kid. I, I played Pokemon Yellow as my first game, then Red, Gold. I did play Silver. And you know, all the games after that, I've played at least one of them from every generation. <laughs> So I'm, a, I'm a big fan. I usually stop after I play. I beat the Elite Four, though. So I don't know much about post-game content for the other games. I think Pokemon Sword, not this game, but when I when I played Pokemon Sword, I have like 99 hours in that right now. If that's the first game I've ever played, like past the Elite Four. <laughs> 420 Poke Dollars. All right. Okay. Let's train before I bother Hop. What was my first game system? Um, uh, it's probably a Game Boy. I think it was just a Game Boy. I grew up with uh, the handheld consoles. And then my friend had a Nintendo 64. I did not. My first console, like um, home console, you connect to your TV. It was a PlayStation, PlayStation 1. But I always went to my friend's house so I could play Nintendo 64. Namely, I loved Pokemon Snap. <laughs> And then I'll try to play the Lion King game, and I'll just get so annoyed. Oh god. Ah, uh, Rookity, stop. Okay, I think we'll be fine, but I'm gonna heal up after this battle as well. I don't really want to walk back and forth between the, the Pokemon Center in this area. Oh gosh. Alright, alright, alright. I know. I know, I said I don't like living on the edge, and then I go to a Pokemon that's super effective against me. <laughs> Great idea. <laughs> bag, and I'm not gonna fight those bird Pokemon anymore. <laughs> Paul Frank can't handle it. Alright. Uh, oh, Yamper is so cute! I really want a Yamper. <laughs> you are so cute! One damage. <laughs> I'm paralyzed, which is a little annoying, but one damage is uh, fine. <laughs> and then when I, uh, Talking back about uh, one, my first like gaming consoles, um, when I had my my handheld Game Boy, one of my favorite games was um, Dragon Warrior Monsters, which turned into the Dragon Quest series. That's my favorite Game Boy game. I think it was Game Boy Color. Wait, was it Game Boy Color? I don't even remember anymore. But uh, yeah, Dragon Dragon Warrior Monsters, fantastic game. I love it. <laughs> What was my favorite PS1 game? 
Um, I, let me think. Oh yeah, we're gonna fight this guy. My favorite PS1 game. Hmm. That's, that's hard. <laughs> Um, 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 I don't know why I don't remember it as much. I used to play, like, I think it was on PS1, Digimon? There's, like, an old Digimon game that I had. I don't know if I'm mixing it up with PS2. But, uh, for PS1, there's a Digimon game, and oh my gosh, I love that. I also really like Creatures. I think that was PS1 as well. Uh, Creatures is the game that Camel ended up playing maybe a month, a couple of months ago, actually, when I first met him. He hated it. And I, I remembered it very fondly, so I thought he'd actually enjoy playing creatures for the PS1. But it was just very boring. Lots of baby noises. It's was, it was, it was just a very surreal game if you ever play it. But I was all about it growing up. I'm like, yes, I have like these, they're called Norns, these little creepy monsters uh, to take care of. And I loved it. <laughs> oh, okay. Sounds good. Well, I will wait for you to get back. <laughs> to reveal my age. No, but I'm 24. <laughs> Digimon was on PS1. Okay. Yes. So that was my favorite. I love that Digimon game. Unless there's multiples. Then I'll have to look up which one it was. Obviously, I really enjoy like the whole capturing monsters and having them fight against each other mechanic. I just love that. There's a game on Steam right now that I've been eyeballing. Uh, it's called Monster Sanctuary. It look, it's like a, what's it called? It's like an early access game right now. And it's a side scroller, but it's also like a Pokemon kind of game. So I've been eyeballing that. But I'm very much into this kind of training, like a monster training kind of game. Yeah, I am, I'm 24. I was born in 1995. All right. Wait, are we close to dying? I wasn't even looking at my health. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta get my head in the game. I'm gonna lose a Pokemon really easily. I'm not paying attention. Okay. Wait. Wait. Don't don't come after me, Choodle. Oh yeah. Holy crud. <laughs> All right. Potion paralysis heal. Okay. I'm actually using my potions. I usually don't. All right, Choodle. Just fight a bunch of Choodle. That's like the easiest way to experience right now. No, mm -mm. not the 80s. That's why my first uh, gaming uh, hand was a handheld Game Boy. I also had a Game Boy Advance that I played a lot. Woo! Okay, what level am I training to? You might be asking yourself. Uh, maybe just level 8 for Wulu. And then whatever level for everyone else. I don't think... I don't think uh, Hop is that strong at the beginning of the game. So, I mean, I've never had any issues with him. So, I reckon I'll be fine if my starter Pokemon's level 12 and my lowest Pokemon's level 8. We'll be A-OK. -okay. So. Oh god! I didn't mean to do that. Oh no. <laughs> I'm just pissing off the Squovet. No. It's annoying. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> okay, we're fine, we're fine. Yours was a com Comodore? What's a Comodore? I don't- I'm not familiar with, uh, with that. These nuts! No, I already caught a Pokemon! I already caught a Pokemon in this route. I don't even want a Squobat. Those things suck. <laughs> I don't like him. I just- I'm very- I'm very opposed to Squobat. It's just- 
I don't know. I think once I saw its final evolution, I'm like, nope, never wanna, never wanna raise a squobat. Cause it's just like a big fat chipmunk sort of thing. It looks really scary to me. <laughs> Don't like it. What the heck, a low tad? I don't know. I wonder if that's a version exclusive. I, I don't think I've even seen a low tad in my other game before. All right, branch poke. Get him. I thought that would be super effective. I guess I don't know what type he is. I thought he was water. Hmm, must be grass? Is he? I don't know. How come low tag's not water type? Should have been super effective. I don't know. Let's go back over the beginning. I said I didn't want to run back and forth, but I think training in the front of this area is the best. So then when we go to hop, we can be all nice and healed up. Commodore was like the Atari. Oh, okay. I see, I see. Did you ever play that weird, um... <laughs> I don't know what console this is on. That weird fish game? There's this fish game that I always see. It's like a fish, and he has the head of a man. And you, like, take care of him. It was like an aquarium kind of game. Maybe it was for PC. I'm not sure what it was for. for. Or why I'm even thinking about it right now, but... <laughs> I'm thinking of this weird game that I thought was for home console. Did you just eat a berry? Oh my gosh, so annoying. Well, that. <laughs> sea man, yeah. Mm hmm. That's what it was. Sometimes I, I saw it once in like a video talking about the game, and I've just. I've been scarred ever since on Dreamcast. There you go. Mm hmm. It's all, it's all coming back to me now. <laughs> Did you ever play that? <laughs> or did you ever have a Dreamcast? And they also had like some sort of a... Was it like Sonic game on a Dreamcast? Or... I don't know. Was there ever a game with Chow in it on the Dreamcast? Maybe I'm mistaken. I, I was like a really big fan of Sonic back in the day. And I could have sworn there was a game that I really wanted to play that was on Dreamcast. You love that game? The Seaman game? <laughs> oh, a revive that I'll never use. <laughs> okay. I ran all the way back. I'm here now. Okay. Maybe I can buy a couple more potions. I need all your potions, please. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 21? Eh, it doesn't cost that much. We'll buy 20. I always buy in groups of 10 because I know that if you buy 10 of any Pokeball, you get a free premium ball. So I just overgeneralize it for the other um, items as well. So I usually buy in stacks of 10. Yeah, I'm sure Dreamcast games, especially. I wonder how much Seaman is um, costs now, because I know older games, especially if they were, you know, if they're popular in some sort of way, they become more expensive as time goes on. I like watching YouTube, um, YouTube collectors of like video games, and they talk about like what was their most expensive purchase and stuff, and it can get really expensive, which is like crazy to me. I think there's like a, for example, I think there's like a My Little Pony game or something like that. Or no, Hello Kitty Racer. And it's like, I don't know, I think it's like $80, which is ridiculous. And it's not even that great of a game. It's like Hello Kitty Racer. For whatever con whatever console. I don't know why I specifically remembered that game. But it's, it's all the rage. And it got more expensive as time went on. Um, I'm looking for a turtle that I can defeat. Okay, or this. Whatever this is. What is this? A blip bug! Yay! <laughs> Completely used. 50 to $75. Dang. Mm hmm. Depending on the condition. Woo! There we go. 
struggle bug. It's gonna hurt me. Uh, eh. That was okay. I don't really like Blip Bug that much. I don't think anyone really. He's just kind of there. He's just he's just the bug Pokemon. I think his eyes are what throw me off. How wide his eyes are. I think he evolved into something pretty cool though. Okay, let's try to get Paul Frank to level 12. And then we will fight our rival. Oh, nope, I don't want I don't want that yamper. I thought I did, but the par paralysis is quite annoying, so <laughs> no. I don't want that. Whoa, he's still chasing me. Oh my gosh, thank you so much! Anonymous gifter for the five subs. That's awesome, thank you. I wish I knew who you were. <laughs> thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Yay, all the hedgehog cakes. <laughs> okay, let me not die. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> That's awesome. Send, send my thanks. Thank you, Anonymous. Anonymous gifter. <clears throat> and thank you so much for the host, Kaiden. Hosting with five viewers. Thank you so much. Would I like to replace with Razor Leaf? Is that even a question? Yes. And thank you for the cheer. Is it Zyrecord? Zycord? Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, the raid. Thank you. What were you guys playing? Were you doing a, a speed run of something? Of, uh... Yeah, I don't... I, I could guess any game. A speed run of... Zelda? Or... I don't, I don't know. Y'all have to tell me. Okay, forget an old move. Link to the past. Yes, I knew it was Zelda. I remembered. <laughs> How did it go, Kaiden? Was it good? See, were you having a good run? All right. Nine fifty-five. Uh, I don't want to use taunt. Taunt scares me, frank frankly, because we're doing the Nuzlocke challenge, and if my Pokemon faints, then I'll have to get rid of it. So I don't really want uh something that makes Pokemon attack me. You know? You feel me? <laughs> You're bad at the game. <laughs> well, that's that's why we why you practice, right? Link to the past. I've heard really good things about that game. He's getting better quickly, though. Yeah, yeah. You 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 speed run other games, so I feel like does does that skill kind of transfer over? I guess it depends on what kind of game you're playing. But yeah, I'm sure I'm sure you're getting better already. <laughs> I know, yeah, Anonymous Gifter just came by and uh, gifted uh, the ch us uh, five subs. So, yay! You can use the hedgehog emotes now. Let me let me use some as well. I love our emotes. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> He's a prodigy, yes. <laughs> That's awesome. I have much respect for speedrunners. I could, I could never do that. <laughs> But it's it's really cool to see to see someone speed run something that you're familiar with. Okay, I know he doesn't need that much health, but I'm just gonna give him that extra HP anyways. <laughs> okay, we're gonna save it, and we're gonna go talk to him. Oh, there's an item over here. I need it. The repel. Oh, that could be good. Maybe, possibly. Okay. Let's go meet up with him. Look, there's the professor. The professor we only see at the beginning of the game, and then I completely forget she exists. So have you unraveled all the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon yet? Oh, goodness, no. The whole thing is still full of questions. 
I'd hope my granddaughter would take over my research, but... Dear me, I'm sorry, I didn't even notice my guests. <laughs> yeah, I just got it done today. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm supposed to lay on like a... Not on my pillow tonight, but like a towel because I, I guess when you dye your hair red, it's gonna go into whatever you're laying on. So I'm very afraid to lay on anything. But I'm gonna carry a towel with me today <laughs> for my head. <laughs> but thank you. I got a compliment too when I went out to um to shop for Christmas. So I'm like, ah. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, I think it came out nice. I decided to do like a darker color. Um, and I think it looks. I think it looks awesome. <laughs> Very Christmassy. Last year I did blue, blue hair, right? Light blue. Now I'm doing red. I'm gonna have to think of a different color for next year. That's Christmassy. Watch me just make my hair green. I don't know if I'll do that, but that's the only Christmas color I haven't done at this point. <laughs> have I been by electrical longboard stream? Mm -mm. No, I have not. Why? What are, what are they streaming over there? <laughs> green hair, you'll remind me next year? I don't know, I'm not agreeing to it. <laughs> At least not right now, it might look a little weird. <laughs> I'll have to see some, some pictures of people with green hair to be convinced. All right, you must be Sierra. I trust you received... Oh, sorry. <clears throat> I trust you received the Pokédex from Sonia. I'm sure you'll have it complete in no time. You must already know about Dynamaxing, right, Sierra? Professor Magnolia has been doing research into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years, and it takes a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamaxing to the fullest. There you go again, Leon. Always talking about Pokémon. There are other things that are worth knowing about, too, you know. Like, how many different types of tea there are? <laughs> hey, professor, do us a favor, would you? Have my own flesh and blood actually recommend me for the gym challenge. He's just like, nope, not, not gonna do it unless someone else convinces me that you're worthy. Poor... Yeah, poor... <laughs> poor Hop. <laughs> Leon, why won't you endorse them? Hop and Sierra are just, just started out. There's still loads they don't know yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you tell him, Leon. Come on, convince him. How about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. Oh, you heal us anyways? Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> He has things that puts him in people's chats for people who have visited his stream. Oh, that's interesting, Captain. I haven't heard of that before. All right. Now remember, be sure to give it everything you've got. That's the best you can do for your Pokemon and for yourself too. I've never really explored this area. Who are you? Do what plants would want instead of what you want. If you keep in that that in mind, the plants will grow. Wait, how do you know what the plants want? It's a plant with a gentle fragrance. Pokemon probably like it too. Hmm. Squee! Squee! <laughs> Alright. That's what I imagine it sounds like. In the fireplace is in use, Pokemon come in and out through the chimney. Oh. Is that a good thing? Just random wild Pokemon. I've never been up here before. I'm just gonna look through your your house. Oh right, and this is the granddaughter's room. Mm-hmm. Lots of nail polish. Ah, uh, okay. Thanks for stopping by and saying hi, Captain. Hope you have a good rest of your week. I'll probably be streaming uh, tomorrow as well. Continuing the Nuzlocke challenge here. Is there anything I can get from going back here? Oh, yes. Payback. Sweet. 
The user stores power, then attacks. The user moves after the target. This power tax power will be doubled. So I can put this on like a slow Pokemon. All right, I am ready. Hurry it up, Sierra. You gotta bow me so I can get my my endorsement. <laughs> all right, all right, Hop. I will battle you after I go to the bathroom because I've been drinking a lot of coffee today. I will be right back. So enjoy, enjoy this beautiful be right back screen with the Pokemon music in the background. Okay, Hop, I am ready. I'm ready to to battle you. I'm gonna become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is, and to do that, I need that endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Come at me with everything you have so we can prove to Lee that we've got what it takes. Alright, hopefully I don't need to prepare any more than I have prepared. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be too too bad. <laughs> Listen, you two, the reason I'm unbeatable is because I learn from every battle I see or take part in. That's how I've gone to where I am today. So sh show me something good in this battle. It's time for my legend to begin. You mean my legend? Alright. Me and my team will put you to the test and see. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just a little sick. That's fine. Hey, Sparrow! How are you doing? Oh, you're doing fine. <laughs> you already answered my question with your first... Your first, uh... Chat. <laughs> And everything is going well here. Got my hair done this morning. Nice and red for the holidays. And uh, we just started our Pokemon Shield Nuzlocke Challenge today. I'm off from school, so I finished my my third semester of student teaching. Uh, so I'm all done with mild, moderate special education. And next semester I'm gonna be doing Mod Severe. So I have like a month, a month off until next semester. So, I'm going to be nice and relaxed until then. <laughs> There's going to be a lot more streams. Oh, gosh. No, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm really bad with type matchups, you guys. I just know the basics. I'm really going to have to to get good at type matchups <laughs> if I want to, you know, have all my Pokemon love. Okay. It'll be a close one, but that's exactly my sort of match. Are we looking at the same match right now, Hop? I'm pretty sure I'm beating you by, like, a landslide. Or a rock slide, you know? Like a Pokemon move. Get it? <laughs> Woo! Well, look at you. It seems like you've really learned your type matchups. Just that one. All I know is the grass beats water. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You defeated Pokemon Trainer Hop. Gutted that I lost, but I'll expect nothing less from my rival. 
Give me all your money. <laughs> Alright, the wild area is going to be coming up soon. <laughs> That's going to be my real test of what kind of Pokemon I, I'll run into when I put my, my little Snorlax blindfold on. So for the Nuzlocke challenge, the three rules are that you have to nickname all your Pokemon. If a Pokemon faints, they die and you have to release it. And then you have to get a random Pokemon on every route. And since the Pokemon are visible on every route, I decided I would use my cute Snorlax mask and cover my eyes every time I go into a new area. So it's truly random. Because if I just see the Pokemon and I see two at the same time, I know I'm going to be biased and run towards the one that I actually want. So in order to remove all of that entirely, I just put on the blindfold and run like a crazy person to whatever Pokemon, you know, attacks me first. All right, we got the endorsement. You thought they were sushi? <laughs> I mean, I like sushi too, but <laughs> nope, they're little, little, little hedgehog badges. My beautiful, beautiful hedgehog badges. You've really grown a bit, little brother, and I'd like to see more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you too, Sierra. He's like our coach. Will you battle blindfolded? No. <laughs> no, I'm not that crazy. You and me are gonna train up against one another to aim for the champion's title. Against one another? That's the way of it when you've got a great rival. Just like you've got me, I've got you. Oh, yes, we are the chosen ones. <laughs> this reminds me of that fruit from uh, Kingdom Hearts that Kyrie and Sora shared, and it's like they'll be friends forever. That's what this reminds me of. There's two of them. I get one too. Sweet. We'll be friends forever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I've said it three times. But you also said it out loud, Hop, so that's why you don't become the greatest trainer ever. <laughs> don't be silly, Hop. <laughs> oh, have fun. Have fun going out for tea. Now that you say that, I'm really craving some, like, boba tea or something like that. <laughs> Boba tea is my favorite kind of tea. The sugar, the tea with the most sugar in it. Also, the tapioca balls that are in boba tea. I love those. <laughs> Don't get carried away. Okay, seems like I came back home right in time for all the excitement. Hey, you lot, why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessed with making the new curries. What? I clicked too fast. Sometimes I get ahead of myself. <laughs> Come along. <laughs> I wish. I would totally go out for some tea right now. It's morning at last, and time for our adventure to truly start. Good morning to you, young challengers. Hop, is it true that you really met some Pokemon you didn't recognize? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? <laughs> oh my gosh, the Santa hat. How did you do that? Channel points emote. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Cup of tea tours in Portland. Ooh. Ooh, that sounds really good. I've always wanted to visit Portland. Sierra tried to fight it off, and then I think we both passed out or something. It's all pretty hazy. She's always twirling her hair. Woo! Thanks, Magnolia. Those are your Dynamax bands. I made them by fitting the wishing star. I keep changing your voice. I made them by fitting the wishing stars you found last night into those bands. 
Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. It's just like the one Lee has on him, too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokemon like he does. <laughs> the Legend of My Reign is finally about to begin. Alright, Hop. Calm down, man. I'll beat you to the station. He always gets, like, a head start on me. What's up, Sonia? If you're earning points, thought it would be a little festive. It, 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 it is. It looks really good. <laughs> One last thing before we race, Sierra. I've got some great advice for you. What's your advice? You know how many... How you sometimes see Pokemon wandering out in the tall grass, yeah? You move real slow like and crouch down. Those Pokemon won't pay any notice. But on the other hand, if you whistle at them, you'll be sure to catch their attention. If you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember this. If you need a fail-proof trick... Press the left stick. Try it out. <laughs> well, I am definitely not going to catch any Pokemon. That'll be the goal, so see you there. You are going to beat me, sir. <laughs> Fine. Oh. Oh, I didn't... Oh, sorry. I was just practicing whistling. Don't mind me. Okay. Let's go on... Get on over there. I will fight you. Do you guys like Choodle? What's like the the group consensus on uh on Choodles? Do people like them? Cause I like them. I think they're really cute, but I I didn't like them at first because they had a really big head. But over over time, I grew to really love them. <laughs> where they're getting stronger. <laughs> okay. The Pokemon scale to your level? I don't think they do. Maybe I'm just well, I'm just uh making up stuff. <laughs> the wonder trades. I don't the wonder trades aren't included. I have been doing those on Pokemon Sword. Uh, but I'm doing the Nuzlocke challenge. So the only Pokemon I can have until I beat the Elite Four will be the one Pokemon in every route. So I will not be engaging in any uh, trading for this particular run. Nor, nor will I be catching those, um, what do they call it? Not fantastic Pokemon. Uh, the, you know, those slightly stronger Pokemon. I don't know why I'm blanking on the name right now. Okay, hello, random lady. Let's heal our Pokemon, and then we can go on to the train. You never beat me to the station at that pace. <laughs> oh. It's nice that he waited for me. He does realize I'm not purposely racing him, right? I'm just, I'm just watching him go. Maybe that's why I win all my Pokemon battles. I just take it, um, it's like the rabbit and the, t the tor tortoise? It's a tortoise, right? The rabbit in the tortoise race. I'm the tortoise. Slow and steady. Alright, perfect. So what with it, Sierra? How many did you catch? I caught a really special one. Not one? What were you doing this whole time? You're gonna want a team for your trainer. <laughs> Just give me the TM anyways. <laughs> a TM, mate. With a TM like that, you can teach your Pokemon a new move in a flash. Alright, take me away, train. Not quite so fast, you two. Oh, it's our mom. What are you doing here, mom? I knew this day was coming since the moment you chose Sobble as a partner, da darling. Which was literally yesterday. Or no, two days ago, probably. Magnolia was kind enough to let us know that you two were setting out. So here, a last little gift to see 
you well set on your way. All the kit you need for camping. Wait, did you say all the kit you need for camping? Everything you need to set up a tent and get cooking. No matter what happens out there, if you and your partner are together, I'm sure you'll be fine. Thanks, Mom, and just think how lucky you are. Mother's the first ever pair of champion brothers. Because I'm certain to be the champion next. You'll see. Of, of course you'll be, darling. Welcome back home anytime. Alright, we're off. Alright, I'm ready, I'm ready. Let me, let me out. <laughs> let me let out, let me out of the dialogue. Then we get the ad for the wild area, of course. Mr. Station Master, isn't this the wild area? What are we stopped here for? The wild area station, make no mistake. I'm sorry to tell you that the train is halted due to a flock of wulu on the tracks. What's there to be sorry about? This is brilliant! What is? <laughs> this is the best possible place to put together the greatest team. Alright, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Okay, now for this area, each part of the wild area is called something different, so I'm going to only catch one Pokemon from each area. So, do we have a map yet? We do. Okay. So this first little area here is the rolling fields. Look at that. I know there's going to be an onyx that spawns to the left, so I think when I put on my sleeping mask and try to find a random Pokemon, I'm going to go to the right side. <laughs> so I don't want to run into that thing. Between there and here are countless new Pokemon waiting to be met. Oh, hello, if it isn't Sonya. My grand gave me a proper earful in her own way. Those th two young trainers are setting out on a journey, but what are you doing with your life? Ouch. Never you mind that. Nothing to worry yourselves over. Besides, I've been quite curious about that Pokemon you two met in the forest. I've been thinking I should look into it, so the timing works out fine. If I discover something really huge, then maybe even Gran will admit I got some talent. Battle with the mask, too. No, I can't. <laughs> I'll be sure to make my whole team faint if I do that. <laughs> I'm glad to be on the road. Really, it's been ages. It'll be fun to fish and camp and rough it outside again. I'm off to go stick my head in as many of those red glowing dens as I can find. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm sure that's safe. <laughs> what cheek? Dynamax Pokemon are really on another level, you know. You better Dynamax your partner Pokemon, too, if you want to take on opponents that strong. You'll find spots here and there in the wild area that emit a red beam of light. If you think you're up to it, check them out. There'll be Dynamax Pokemon lurking inside. So with that, how about I send you off with a little treat from me? Pokemon Boxling. Alright, perfect. With the Pokemon Boxling, you'll be able to put Pokemon from your team into your boxes. The wild area is waiting for ya. All right, <laughs> I'm ready. Okay, you guys are just gonna, actually, even if I do catch Pokemon that's out of the zone, I'll be able to know right away what area I'm in by using the map. Thank you so much for um, gifting a, a sub, Kaiden, I appreciate it. Yay! Thank you so much, Kaiden. All the, all the hedgehogs. <laughs> 
Okay. Let me see here. I am going to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. What am I doing? What am I doing? I gotta put my blindfold on. Alright. Wish me luck. <laughs> see you guys on the other side. I'm just gonna wander off to the right. And we'll see what we end up getting. Okay. Oh, I hear something. What's that sound? Did I run into a... Oh, what did I run into? What is it? Oh, God. <laughs> it's a funnel bee. Alright. Alright, a funnel bee. Sweet. <laughs> I can't say I've ever raised one of these guys before. They kind of give me the heebie-jeebies, kind of like what Squobet does. Because of its final form. But not as much. I'd rather... I think I'd rather raise a bunnel bee than a squirrel bat. <laughs> Alright, branch poke. Alright, and we'll try the pokeball right away. Let's see if we can catch this guy. Okay, I'm gonna write it down. Okay, we did catch him. <laughs> Alright, so this is the rolling hills. I'm just gonna write down rolling hills. So I remember that I can't caught something here. Okay, it's very sensitive to danger. The sound of Corviknight's flapping will have Ben will be digging a hole to hide underground in moments. Perfect. We we are gonna have a Corviknight soon. <laughs> a nickname? No. I mean, crud. No, wait. I do want a nickname. Ugh. Why am I? <laughs> I'm just like so opposed to Bumblebee. No, he needs a nickname. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? I don't think I can go back to town. Okay, we're gonna name him as soon as we go to a Pokemon Center. Unless I can go back, but I, I don't think I can. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, you guys think of a name for Bunnelby, and I'll name him that. So it's a it's a female Bunnelby. That's all we need to know. Female Bunnelby. We can name it later. <laughs> I didn't break any rules, I swear. Okay, we're gonna avoid that onyx. Oh, you found a note on the ground. Wow. <laughs> For the a thousand bits <laughs> thank you and thank you for the for the compliment on my hair <laughs> I like it I've only bleached my hair before and then did that blue hair once so but I think I think red's a good look on me I might end up keeping it <laughs> thank you again Kaiden take it more sure a cherry berry fell from the tree. I'm gonna stop shaking it because it looks like a it looks like a squirrel that's gonna jump out at my face, and I don't want that. Oops! Uh oh, I didn't mean to do that. Please don't hurt me. What is that? Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh! It's it's really fast. Nope. 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 <laughs> what is it? What is it called? Like a tiger? I don't want. I don't want that. I can finally, finally rotate the camera. <laughs> what, a, what a joy. Okay, I'm gonna get the watts. Even though you don't really get that much. And I'm a little afraid of fighting Dynamax Pokemon. Because if I faint even once, I'm going to have to get rid of my Pokemon. So we're gonna avoid that for right now. Am I in a new area right now? Or are we still in the same rolling hills? Oh, we're not. Wait. Where the heck are we right now? Where am I? <laughs> West Lake. Oh. West Lake Axwell. Oh, so I probably can catch another Pokemon right now. Maybe I should get on the bridge and then... Okay. The wild area is a little bit confusing. Okay. But I'm pretty sure I am... Yeah, Westlake Axwell. Okay, let's catch another Pokemon while we're here. Let me heal up. Actually, I don't really need to heal, huh? 
Okay, we're just gonna walk straight ahead. And then that'll be the Pokemon for this area. Straight ahead. Nothing's gonna go wrong. We gotta fill out, fill my team with some uh, wild area Pokemon. Okay. Straight ahead. Maybe to the right. Oh, I'm really good at hitting things. Oh, I hear grass. <gasps> oh, yay! Okay, cool. I like this guy. <laughs> yay! Oh, he's so cute! Alright. Nice and uh, festive for uh, winter as well. I love him. Okay, don't kill him now. Do a branch poke. That's all you need to do. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be super effective for some reason. Oh, look at him! Or, wait, is it a hit? Is it a girl or a boy? I need to start thinking of names right now. Vanillite. It's a boy. What are you guys, what are you guys thinking for a name for this guy? Okay, I thought he was going to run away for a second. I got scared. <laughs> Write this down. I'm totally butchering the name Vanillite. And this is the by the lake, right? I'll just write down what area we're in. White poo emoji. <laughs> hmm. But you're bad with names. Everyone says that they're bad with names. <laughs> um. Maybe we could do like. Let me see. Uh. He's a fresh snow Pokemon. Supposedly, this Pokemon was born from an icicle. It spews out freezing air at negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit to make itself more comfortable. So cute. Okay. We can name him Ice Boy. <laughs> I Ice Boy with like a um, an I at the end. Oops. Ice Boy. White poo emoji uh, comes in a very close second place for the name, but I think I'm gonna do Ice Boy. Ice Boy. All right. So, ooh, there's some stuff on the ground. Pungent root. So that's what our our Ice Boy is gonna turn into eventually. He's on the lake right now. Let me just write down what this area is called. West Lake. Westlake Axwell? Axwell. Can't say I paid too much attention to the names of the wild area um, when I played this game the first time around. Okay, I think the next area we're going to catch Pokemon is going to be Watchtower Ruins. And I know they have a lot of strong, strong ghost Pokemon there. So I might be a little bit worried. I fished up something brilliant. Sure. Would you, would, what do you got? Two big pearls. Nice. You named all your Pokemon's ma Magikarp. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what do you name your Magikarp then? Gyarados? I mean, it would turn into a Gyarados eventually. I'd assume. Magikarp's a classic Pokemon. It's not, that's not a bad name. You just, you're dedicated to the Magikarps. Oh, did you guys ever play... Um, I'm not a big mobile gamer but i did play that magic harp game on your on on mobile on phone it was so good i love that game you never got a magic harp oh i see <laughs> i see i see okay save my progress okay so is this am i in the new area right now because then i'll put on my my sleep mask. Let me see. No, I'm not. I think I have to go to the left. Let's do that. I want to fill up my team and then maybe even start replacing Pokemon because I have a lot of normal types, I think. Wooloo and Bunnelby. Bunnelby might be ground. I don't remember. I'm bad at rem remembering. Okay, let's see. I'm still not there. 
Where the heck am I? <laughs> Is this not the watchtower area? Oh, don't hurt me. Um. Hmm. Oh, it is. Hmm. Is he still following me? Oh, no, he's not. Okay. I am afraid of this guy. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, please, no. <laughs> okay. We're fine. We're fine. We might be able to run out, outrun that. Goli Goliath? Is that how you pronounce that? Goliath? Okay. Since we're already fighting him. Wait, would this be the first Pokemon I run into in this region? I'm not gonna count it. Because was, this was an accident. <laughs> I didn't mean to run into him. I don't even know if this is the right area. So we're just gonna make him faint. We're gonna back up a little bit and then I'm gonna put on my, my mask and we're going to find our new Pokemon in this region. I do want to get the experience from this guy though. Who knows? We might even just run into another snow rent. <laughs> okay, sorry, snow rent. Nice, we gotta level up, okay? Now we gotta run for our lives. Our lives. Run, 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 run. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. This is fine. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go at a straight, straight ahead to avoid that Glyle and also so we can get a new Pokemon. Okay. I'm ready. Let's run into something good. Maybe hold still? Oh, what's happening? Oh! Uh-oh. <laughs> what happens if I run into a very strong Pokemon? I can't catch it. Oh, gosh. I don't think... I don't... Mm, mm. I don't think I'm gonna catch or count very strong Pokemon. Oh, I'm very concerned about whether or not I'm gonna be able to run, run away from this guy. Oh, please don't hurt me. <laughs> Should I try to run and then maybe have Grookey faint? Which would mean he'd die. Or should I switch out a Pokemon and kind of guarantee that they're going to die? Oh, man. Run, please run. Please get away. Okay. Okay, he's fine. I don't think we're going to be able to get a Pokemon from here. I think these are all higher level Pokemon, so... So, we're not going to catch a Pokemon from this region yet. That's what my Bunnelby is going to turn into. Eh. <laughs> I'm not a big fan. Not a big fan. Okay. East Lake. Oh, we were just at West Lake, so we can catch Pokemon from here. If we wanted. Yeah, let's catch Pokemon from here. We just got to this area. I'm ready. It's probably gonna be a snow run. I saw some snow runs. We're just gonna walk straight ahead. Oh yay! Thank you so much for the cheer, Kaiden. <laughs> if I get a ghost, I can name it Kaiden's happiness. How about I just name it Kaiden? Happiness would be over the twelve characters, but I can definitely name a ghost Pokemon after you if we end up getting one. Okay, it looks like we're gonna get Stuffle for our East Lake Axwell Pokemon. I mean, as long as we can catch it. East Lake Axwell. Stuffle. I'm just gonna write it down. All right, let's try to get this thing. He's a normal Pokemon as well, so I'm a little concerned. Also, he's really strong. Wait, how much damage do you, do you just do? Okay, I think we're, we're gonna be okay. Maybe I should just risk trying to catch him right away though. I'll heal if this doesn't work. But he's pretty strong. I'm just see seeing if we get lucky. Yes, all right, cool. 
Yeah, cause ghosts. Yeah, exactly. Cause ghosts are your favorite type. That's how I. That's how I interpreted it. Don't worry. <laughs> that is how I interpreted it. All right, Stuffle. The way it protects itself by flailing its arms may be an adorable sight, sight, but stay well away. This is is flailing that can snap thick tree trunks. Normal fighting type. Okay, we gotta give him a nickname. He's a boy. Um, he's a fighter, he likes hugs, he's pink, looks like a bear. Winnie. Winnie, as in Winnie the Pooh. But, yeah. We're not gonna be able to fit all that. Maybe you could just say Winnie Pooh? Wait. What's Pooh's, what's Pooh's name? It's just Pooh, right? <laughs> but I don't want to call my stuff old Pooh for the rest of eternity. Um, we'll just call him, him Winnie. Winnie's been added to the party. Good. Alright. So, we have our full team right now. We need, a, we need to, to name Bunnelby when we get to the nearest Pokemon Center. <laughs> so. Let me see. Oh, get out of my way. I made it pretty far into the grass. Okay. I want to make it to a Pokemon Center so we can na rename Bunnelby. And then I think after that, I'm going to call it a stream. I just wanted to do a quick, quick two-hour stream to start my Nuzlocke challenge off. But I will be back streaming tomorrow as well. I'm getting very hungry to eat lunch. <laughs> So that's where that's what I'll be doing once I end the stream. All right, we're in the first first town or city, I guess, Modestoke. Which is weird because Modestoke is where the last gym gym leader is, right? That's where Rayan is. Where am I wrong? Oh no no no! This is where this is where the fire gym leader is. I'm thinking about the other big town. But yeah, I'll be streaming more since I'm on winter break right now, which will be good. I just noticed that, that uh, Gigantamax, Dynamax, Charizard. That was really cool. <laughs> All right. oh, Sonia, I need to name my, my, my Pokemon over here. Over here! Hey, Sonia. Real ace of you to make it through the wild area. Seems like your trek ran your Pokemon ragged, though. You should pop into the Pokemon Center. Besides, there's something in there I bet you'll get a kick out of if you're a real trainer and all. I am a real trainer. Psh. Looks like Rotomi's free. Rotomi are kind of po Rotom information service. It's a handy machine for trainers. You can even use one to customize your elite card. Woo. Here's a sample. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. All about league cards. Your favorite Pokemon in this game is Delmise? Delmise. Hold on. I gotta remind myself what Delmise is. Oh, like that anchor Pokemon. Yeah, I like that one too. What's my favorite Pokemon? Um, oh, that's so hard. Um, my new Pokemon, my, my new favorite. Um, I don't know if I necessarily like have one that comes to mind really quickly, unfortunately. Um, I like them all. I like, I really like this generation of Pokemon. Um, I really like Elkremi. I don't know why I'm thinking about that off the top of my head, but Elkremi is so cute. Um, hmm, what is, I don't know why I'm blinking about which Pokemon to use in Pokemon Sword. Hmm, hmm. I'll have to get back to you on that one. There's like just so many Pokemon now that it's all it's all just in my head, but I'll, I'll get back to you on that one. But Alcrim is definitely up there. I really like I really like that one. Okay, can you heal my Pokemon? And then we're gonna rename 
our our uh, Bunnelby. I do really like Wulu. Wulu's up there for me. So cute. I also oh 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 I like Clavapus. Clavapus, you can find him like towards the end of the game in the water. He's the he's the octopus with the boxing gloves. Oh my gosh. Oh, Clavapus and Inke. I was about to say Inke as well. But yeah, uh, Clavapus, Alcreme, Inke, Wulu. Those are like my kind of Pokemon. <laughs> The imp looking one. I know that's a, a lot of people really like the imp looking Pokemon. He kind of it kind of creeps me out though, to be honest. So I don't I don't like them. <laughs> um, what's the other Pokemon I like? Um, I think Hatrim's okay. That one, uh, the fairy Pokemon with the big old hat, like the pink one. He's he's good, and I really like um, Ice Q. I wasn't able to get one in Pokemon Sword, but Ice Cube is that penguin Pokemon with the big ol' Ice Cube on his head. Oh my gosh, so cute. <laughs> okay, I'm ready to rename my Pokemon. <laughs> or to rate my Pokemon's nickname. It's a fine nickname. It's not a nickname, it's an actual name. Okay, a girl name for a bunny. How about... Hmm. A girl name for a for a bunnelby. Oh, Avalug, yeah. Oh, that one's a good one. I like that one as well. Oh, and Snom. I like I really like Snom, that little ice worm Pokemon. <laughs> Lola from Space Jam. Oh, that's a good one. I haven't seen that movie in a long time, but yes, 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 yes. That's a good one. Beautiful. Lola. Awesome. Okay. I am going to save it right here. Sorry I'm not streaming for longer, but I do want to stream tomorrow as well. So I'll be playing a couple more hours for you guys tomorrow. And I'm hoping tomorrow we can get through the first three gym leaders. I don't know if that's asking for too much, but... They're kind of very close together, if I remember correctly, from Pokemon Sword. And we'll be able to catch some more Pokemon too, but I think this is a good stopping point because we got our full team of Pokemon. We might switch them out as time goes on, but let's just review our Pokemon that we got so far. We got Paul Frank, we got Cotton, we got Poet, Poet, po Poet? A Poet. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying Poet, weird. Poet. We got Lola, we got Ice Boy. And we got Winnie. I think if we do get another Pokemon that's a different type from what we have now, I like having a wide range of types in my uh, teams. I think we might get rid of Cotton. As much as I love Wooloos, I think Lola's going to be more useful because she's a fighting type. So our next Pokemon might re be replacing Cotton. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, but yeah, that, that is our team right now for the Nuzlocke challenge, and I think it's going really well so far. Oh yeah, no, that's, that's fine, Kaiden. I'm glad you're able to stop by and, and, uh, raid. That's, that was so cool. I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> okay. But we got, I think we got everything all, all saved and all that good stuff done. Let's see, uh, who we can go and raid. Let me see. Who is online right now? Hmm. Oh my gosh, it's so annoying when I get little ads. Oh, I just want to watch the other person. Ads are annoying. <laughs> it's fine though. If they support the other streamers, then it's good. I know I have ads on, so I shouldn't be saying anything, but <laughs> just being honest. <laughs> but it's really nice now that you can make a couple of cents from, uh, from the ads and stuff. That's always nice. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'm trying to find somebody who's playing a game right now. I think. Yeah, we can go watch some World of Warcraft. One of my friends, uh, his name is Clutchy404. 
I've been following him for quite some time. I haven't seen his streams as of recent, though, but it looks like he's playing some World of Warcraft. So let's go over there and say hi to him. Maybe spam some hedgehog emotes in his chat. And I am going to go get something to eat. <laughs> I'm very hungry. But I'll be back tomorrow to stream some more Pokemon. I'm really excited to be playing Pokemon Shield. And I'm just a big fan of Pokemon in general, even though it's, you know, I paid you know sixty dollars twice to play the same game essentially but it's fine i love pokemon i'm a big i'm a big pokemon fan so we're gonna continue tomorrow hopefully beat the first three gym leaders and all that fun stuff i'll tweet you guys and let you know when i'm going to be playing it's probably gonna be sometime around this time as well so like 11 or 12 but i'll let you guys know but um yeah i hope you guys have a great rest of your evening and hopefully i'll see you guys tomorrow all right bye